Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to the second episode of our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. And last time I didn't have a base and I do now. So welcome to the new defensive Town Hall 11 base. Um, but I'm, I have a very unique issue that I don't run into very often. And that's that I maxed my loot. <laughs> I mean, and it doesn't happen very often. 9 million gold, 9 million elixir. Actually, a fair amount of dark elixir, 108,000 right now. So I needed to make a video to spend some of the loot. Um, I, I normally, like in a normal series, like once we get going, I'll just pour extra loot into the walls. But because they're level one, and I, I mean, I could, I could have maybe upgraded a wall or two to level 11, but that's just ridiculous. It's 4 million loot. So what I need to do is we really need to upgrade these walls. Um, and I wanted you guys to experience that. that. That's just the way it is. That's what, that's where I was at. I wanted you guys to experience me upgrading the new walls and also to see the new base. So here it is. Also, Ooh, I forgot about this. I actually upgraded or updated my progress base. So now everything that is maxed out is up here at the top. Everything that needs to be upgraded is down here at the bottom. And as you can see, it is a very one-sided progress base because Town Hall 11 is huge. Um, if you look over here, we've already got the dark barracks. They are maxed out. The dark elixir storage does not upgrade until Town Hall 12. The dark, or the, the um, spell factory does not upgrade. And then of course, a few of the traps, Seeking Air Mine, Spring Trap, the dark spell factory, none of those things upgrade at Tunnel 11. And then of course, we have the already maxed out gold mine and elixir collector. And then of course, we started this gold storage last episode. So guys, I've got one builder right now. Did I just see that correctly? Ooh, I can speed up my builders. You know what? That'll be good because then probably by the time the video is done, do I have more? I only had one. That's perfect. So by the time like our attacks are done and stuff, I'll have more than one builder because I do have this gold storage that will be done in what was going to be four hours, but now probably will be what, like 40 minutes or something. No, it'll be a lot less than that. It'd be like 30 minutes. Anyway, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe even 20 minutes. I can't do that 10 times math thing very well. It should be easy, but it isn't. So here we go. First things first, guys, before we go out and do any raiding, we need to spend a little bit of loot. All right. So let's pull out this little baby so that we can notch all 25 of the new walls and let's upgrade it a few times. Okay. So 25,000 gold for level two, 125,000 for level three, 250,000 for level four, 625,000 for level five. And um, that should be good enough for right now. Okay, I just wanted to make room so that we can go raid and everything will be fine. So great, now we have level five walls. They actually kind of match the level 11 walls. They look good, but of course we want to keep going. Also, we need to spend a little bit of elixir. And I think, let me see, what's the cheapest elixir upgrade? The gold storage. All right, well, let's just upgrade the gold storage. Uh, another four day upgrade. And um, yeah, let's do this in three, two, one, bam. Sweet. So now that is going, and as soon as this guy is done, we'll be able to upgrade something else today. Also, I can finally collect my stuff. Dude, I had max loot forever. I had this looks so funny over here. <laughs> I had uh, max loot forever before I was able to um, finally film this. So I'm so glad to finally have that done. And now let's try to find some loot. And that's that's 400,000 gold or uh, 400,000 elixir. That's a lot of elixir. Okay, we're gonna attack this base. First search, um, I like it. All right, let's try to get as much of this elixir as possible. We might struggle a bit to get this storage because of the wizard tower, but also for the mortar, so we'll see. But I think first off, well, let's take out this bomb tower. Get down, son, get down. Yeah, 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 you ain't got nothing on me, buddy. All right, and then let's just, oh, we gotta do it over here too. Get rid of the bomb towers, they are splash damage which means that they will wipe out a barge if you're not focused. So there you go, it is done. By the way guys, just a heads up, I am using Bart because it is the best elixir grabbing army and that is what you need whenever you first start any kind of town hall level. You need a lot of elixir. So I'm gonna be using Bart for a little while. And it's good because Bart is super efficient, especially if you're lower in the trophies, like in like Crystal League, like lower or middle Crystal League, um, you can find a ton of loot just spamming it and killing dead bases. And that's what we're doing here, guys. Oh, by the way, look at this beautiful set of barbarians. You guys are awesome. Grab that, uh, grab that pink, grab that pink, get it. There you go. All right, so we only got about half of that storage. Um, it looks like we're definitely gonna need our heroes to get a little bit of this done. So let's use the queen and um, actually, you know what? We can use the king and he can snag that elixir up there. All right, and then he's also going to absorb the Warden ability. Hopefully, or not the Warden, the Eagle. Also, I hope this Queen can grab 
that. And I'm going to put the warden over there for that. So we should actually be able to grab all of this loot. And also we should, in theory, be able to get the 50% so we don't lose the attack. So this is good. We're going to be just fine. Um, warden, it's all up to you. I should have deployed the warden first. It's only level 1. I keep forgetting that the warden's damage output is way, way lower than my other... Um, my other uh, heroes, but it's it's all good. So that is all of the elixir that this base has to offer, aside from whatever is sitting in the clan castle in the town hall. And this guy's upgrading his town hall. Somebody, somebody, tell this guy not to do this. This is not good. You you do not want to do the thing that you're doing. I promise you, Mister Mister Rabby. Now, uh, yeah, I promise. Or M H M H Rabby. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go, guys. That is four hundred thousand elixir using Barch. And, um, you, know, you know, a little bit of Dark Elixir, a little bit of gold, but mostly right now it is all about the Elixir. And that helps. Star bonus. Ha <laughs> ha. 460,000. By the way, guys, if anybody else misses that 5x star bonus from Black Friday, I know I sure do. All right. So before we go out, I've, well, I've got CC. I don't have my heroes. Um, so let's see what I was up to like yesterday. Yeah, like su super easy, guys. Both, like every single raid that I'm finding lately is this dead base smack rune like you're I'm seriously like wrapping up barbarians wrapping up arches grabbing 300,000 plus golden elixir tons of dark elixir on top of that and it's just beautiful guys and it doesn't take any thought that's probably the best part is that on a lot of my accounts right now I'm like doing La Loon and things to farm and it's hard to think about um so it's nice to have something on another account where I can just show up throw some barch around and uh be happy and be good to go so that's what we're doing here and of course are we about to fail this attack 48 percent go go archers you got this grab that mortar they're not gonna grab that mortar yeah we're gonna fail the stack unless i deployed my yeah I that's a defensive clan castle that is a clan castle that you're not supposed to use while attacking that is sad i really just did not want to lose the attack that's funny all right well either way Either way, look at that loot, guys. 400,000 golden elixir, plus the loot bonus is not bad, plus 3,000 dark elixir. Grabbing 3,000 dark elixir with Barch is crazy. And then this one's even better against Emmanuel. It's a dead town hall 11, 550 almost, 1,000 gold, 600,000 elixir, 5,300 dark elixir. Now, of course, Barch will not grab the storage in the middle. Uh, but let's just see how this one unfolds. I'm going to actually go double XL here so that we can see what's going on. Um, the Barbarians and the Archers grabbing all the Collector and Mine loot, or most of it anyway. And it makes me wonder, because I know that I need to get this drill down here, but did I deploy... Oh, wow. Do you have the Wall Wrecker? I'm surprised I didn't throw the Wall Wrecker in from the top just to grab that storage up there. Maybe I was trying to preserve the Wall Wrecker. That's a good idea. I mean, whenever you have your Tunnel 12 clan mates donating Wall Wreckers to you, you don't want to use them unless it's super, super worth it. And I suspected there'd be Teslas, and those Teslas might have stopped my Wall Wreckers. I don't know. Uh, but check it out. This queen's awesome. She gets the clan castle and gets some loot. And then this drill down here. Oh, there's the Wall Wrecker. Oh, my goodness. Archimedes from yesterday, you weren't thinking clearly, man. There, there was more Dark Elixir up there. You should have you should have come in from the top. It's funny how when hindsight is 2020, right? That's the uh that's the expression. Whenever you look back on something, you see all the little mistakes, and I just saw one of my own. Yes, I am admitting to being human. I made a mistake. Anyway, so I've got my army. Let's wreck this base. I well, not this one. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a good dead base because I don't have my heroes this time, and I don't like losing these attacks. So I'll be right back once I find the perfect, big, fat, juicy dead base. And you and I are going to wrap it up. And the big, fat, juicy dead base is here. What's going on, CMRR? I think that's how you say that. Actually, that's how you spell it. So I don't know if that's how you say it. But guys, over 600,000 elixir. This person, this account holder, has upgraded their elixir collectors to max. And then now they're full. So as you can see, this is good. Whenever Supercell released the next level of the gold mines and elixir collectors, now but a few weeks ago, um, or like a month or two ago, I don't even know how long it's been now, um, I knew that it was going to be great for farming. And this is proof right here. So let's wrap this baby up. Um, I have... Uh, I have a wall wrecker full of defensive clan castle troops, so I'd rather not use them if I don't have to. Um, but we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what is uh, what is up here in a moment, because I definitely want to make sure that I don't miss out on any full max elixir collectors here. Um, it looks like this queen, only level four, is going to troll us, because we also have the Rand Warden and the Tesla over here. So this is a very large portion of loot that is not being grabbed. Um, it looks like the collector that was on the outside got grabbed, but not this one. So, so far, we've only gotten about 300,000 elixir. I could use 
this wall wrecker and um, I could probably get in here and get a lot of gold and stuff as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deploy this. I'm going to poison this. And I really want... Oh, oh, I've got to pop it. i got to pop it early. I'm so bad. I did not line that up but, uh, well enough. I wanted to make sure the wall wrecker got that elixir. That was a bummer. And where did my baby dragon go? I think that eagle artillery killed my dragon. My baby dragon. Oh, man. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, it's it's going to have to be all right. I mean, it happened the day the deed is done. Still, even though that didn't quite go... According to plan, that was still 400,000 gold. We almost maxed our storage again. Um, and 425,000 elixir. And over 1,000 dark elixir. I mean, that is not bad. I'm sad that I used up my defensive clan castle. I did donate that to myself, though. So it is it is all good. I used my Town Hall 12 and donated to myself. So now we have that, uns uh, that, that not so satisfying situation where we have... Um, a little bit of time before we can upgrade some stuff. So as you can see, whenever we started using the Builder Potion, this had four hours and something. Now it only has two hours and something, and I've been recording for 12 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit patiently. I'm going to wait until this is done, and then we are going to spend a little more loot. Okay, so the gold storage has now been maxed out, or upgraded, maxed for Town Hall 11. So that means that we are finally able to spend a little bit of loot. It's going to be good, guys. Just be watching and waiting because we have a lot of gold to spend. And honestly, I mean, if you look at it, my builders that are coming up soon, uh, like the expo, because of the boost thing that's going, it'll be done like later this evening. So I could technically use this fifth builder and not really miss out on a lot. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to put a lot of gold into the walls, maybe get them to level eight. That way I can start using, you know, using uh, those walls to dump elixir too if I need to. But mostly I want to keep upgrading these gold storages. Now, I did get a really good recommendation. And that recommendation was to use my medals because I've got 300 from taking part in the Clan War Leagues, buying a, uh, a hammer of building and just buying and upgrading the Clan Castle. Now, I, I think that would be really, really cool to do that. Um, because again, I've been upgrading these gold storages simply because I need to be able to hold 10 million gold to upgrade the clan castle and I currently can't hold that much. 9.25 million. Only reason why it's not nine is because that gold storage is now maxed out. Now I, I want to do that, but I also don't because I'm going to upgrade the gold storages anyway, because they're the cheapest elixir upgrade available to me right now. So uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to hold on to my medals until I really feel like I need to use them and really just grind out the gold and finish these storages before I upgrade. I want to do it properly because if somebody does watch this Let's Play and, you know, in the in the future and they're going to follow along, but they don't have the medals to buy the hammer, I, I don't want to create that inequality. All right. If that makes sense. I want this to be as relatable, as free to play as possible for people. And that, I mean, obviously we're going to be taking part in clan war or, um, what is this called? Clan games. We're going to be taking part in that, but also, um, you know, I just want to, I just want to keep it easy for you guys to follow along. So if you have clan war league medals, then yeah, it would be really cool to use a hammer of building on that just to get that over with. But I highly recommend if you don't, or if you want to use your medals on something else, upgrade these storages as soon as possible and upgrade that clan castle because it's a huge and very valuable upgrade. So with all that being said, let's keep doing what we started with, guys. Let's upgrade some more walls. This 1.25 million to get them all to level 6, the pink level. So let's do this in 3, 2, 1. Bam! And then, of course, we're going to get them all to level 7, the purple level with 2.5 million gold in 3, 2, 1. Bam! And then, of course, we would love to be able to go to level 8, the, the skull walls. Um, but we don't have enough gold, which is weird. Uh, don't I have some in the treasury? I do a little bit. <clears throat> okay, let's collect that. So now I am, I need 6.25 million. I got 5.43 million. So what that means is that I'm just under a million gold short. That's, uh, which is sad, but it is what it is. So I'm going to hold on to the rest of my gold. All right. We're going to, we're going to hold on to that. I love the way the purple and the gold, uh, level 11, level seven walls look, by the way, it's like if you mix them together, it's really neat. So we're going to leave it there. And now we're going to buy another gold storage and upgrade it. Okay. We're going to try to get these gold storages upgraded as soon as possible. It's only 2.5 million elixir. Again, it's the cheapest elixir upgrade. And it's definitely a top priority for those of you that are trying to make your way through tunnel 11 as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So let's do this guys. 
Um, 2.5 million elixir. Four day upgraded. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right. And then I've actually got a book of building. So should I use my book of building? Uh, you know what? That just, just dawned on me. But I, I want to use the book of building as efficiently as possible, which means that it needs to be used on buildings that take a long time to upgrade. So let's think about this for a second. Like the army camp. I don't know. I can't afford the army camp, but that would have been a good one. 11 days, 16 hours. I believe the clan castle is a, it's a 10 day. Wow. Okay. Well then, I am going to do a little bit of research because, I mean, the Klein Games are ending soon. And I get another book of building with Klein Games. So I'm going to have to decide how I'm going to use the book because you can't hold more than one at a time. So um, next episode, guys, I'll be definitely using some books and trying to um, just balance things out between the uh, Klein Games rewards. So, guys, that is going to have to be it for me today. We now have Purple Walls, which, you know, everybody loves Purple Walls. They're great, aren't they? We're gonna we got purple walls. We're working our way through, and now I'll let you know that I'm gonna let you know this that if I do max out my storages in between episodes, I will be putting extra loot into these walls. And if I need to dump a little bit of elixir, all I gotta do is upgrade one of these to level eight, and then I can go to level nine using elixir, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the way to do it. So, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode of our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.